नॉर्मल वन या टू साइटूल फॉलिकल विल ब्रो एंड इट विल रक्चर एंड ओविलेशन विल रखकर एंड पेशेंट है पेशेंट हैड आफ्टर फिफ्टीन डेज पेशेंट गॉट द हर पीरियड्स बट इन वॉट हैपन इन द पी सी ओ एस देर इज अ नो फॉर द मेन फॉलिकल मल्टी मल्टीपल सिम्टम्स like patient had irregular menses acne hirsutism and uh, infertility mood changes so it now we call it is a syndrome this was polycystic ovarian syndrome so what happened why is called a polycystic because the term already is definite like there is a multiple cyst Uh, in usual in in our usual menstrual cycle, what happened? A, a normal one or two cycle, uh, uh, follicle will uh, grow and it will rupture and ovulation will occur and patient has patient had after 15 days patient got the her periods. But in what happened in the PCOS? There is a no for the dominant follicle, multiple polycystic multiple cyst multiple follicle is there but not increase in size up to the time size up to the size of the ovulation. So patient not get the her periods. is a means is a regular periods and it because of the uh, lack of ovulation and delay ovulation or uh, an ovulation patient has infertility yeah it regular menstrual cycle and because of this uh, uh, non growth of, of the follicle patient also had so many hormonal uh, the uh, defenses this uh, and because of that patient had androgen excess and because of that patient had acne and hirsutism so all of that is matter depend on the uh, growing of the follicles and what about the their size and the uh, volume of the ovary so many criteria is there rotterdam criteria is usually refer for the pcos or uh, if the patient has more than 10 5 to 10 follicles and uh, volume is more than a particular range then is called to pcos syndrome and uh, now we turn about the uh, actually in our uh, routine practice we uh, we suffer from so many uh, almost 50% of the open uh, Fifty percent of it is pretty concerned with the irregular menstrual cycle. If PCOS symptoms, PCOS uh, we discuss today, so it mainly affect the uh, young young married couples and uh, adolescent girls. Uh, and it's not uh, initially we think that uh, PCOS can occur in the obese person, but it's not. The scenario is now changed. It can occur in the thin or obese person. Everyone. Uh, now we discuss the treatment approach. First of all. Uh, first i said that it is anovulatory because of the why this uh, anovulatory occurs because the patient has insulin is resistance because of the obesity or maybe in a hormone response responses patient has insulin insensitivity so this type of patient has a uh, high range of insulin uh, and the less type the so, so we advise the patient to change the lifestyle and reduce weight that is the main approach this is the main treatment uh, so we told the patient to about the doing some exercises and diet in for weight reduction the many two approach is there first the exercise and other one is the diet but 80% role is the diet and 20% role is the exercise so we have to told about that how the diet what type of diet is there patient is the thin then we have to give the protein diet and patient is the more obese then we have to the protein in that the uh, exercise of particular parts with the mainly patient has central obesity so we have to give a particular type of diet uh, exercise plan also and the diet plan also and second if the patient have irregular menstrual cycle then we have to some uh, add some ocp also uh, if patient had not get to get the period the first of all we give the withdrawal bleeding after that we have to do the cyclical uh, ocp therapy and after and again we can we can say if patient has hirsutism or acne we can also as far as prescribe also and uh, prims and uh, like that that multiple type of tablets is there uh, other one i thought is uh, if patient is uh, infertile then first of all we have the main problem in the infertility if patient has no anovulation so then we have to start the ovulatory drugs which can produce the we grow the proper size of the ovum and follicle and after the ovulation will occur and plant 
plan IUI or ovulation induction, this we have to start. So this uh, scenario is saying the main purpose of this video is that you have to change your lifestyle and do exercises, normal diet routine habit or diet modification is very important for our menstrual cycle, for infertility and whole of this life. And okay everybody, please main and stay healthy.